Hello all. Welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, how does multi-threading is achieved in Java? Let me answer this question followed by practical demonstration. So what exactly is multi-threading? Multi-threading in Java programming can be achieved by executing or running two or more threads. Okay. You can run any number of threads, more than one thread. By default, the Java program, the simple Java program will contain a single thread. Okay. A simple Java programming containing a class inside that a main method will be there, right? Containing some logic inside the main method. Such kind of simplest Java program by default has one thread. But what is, what if your requirement is to run more than one thread? That is multiple threads where each and every thread will do a different activity or uh, parallelly work on different tasks. For example, if you go to a hotel where, uh, which is a very big hotel, okay, lot of lot of uh, guests will come to the hotel to have the lunch, dinner, and breakfast there. Let's assume, and there are hundreds of tables available there. If the hotel management thinks of only keeping one waiter, okay, who generally comes and takes your order, what will happen, guys? Is it possible for the hotel management to take care of uh, serving all the hundred people at a time? No, right? Because the waiter has to go from one table to another table. That will take a lot of time. Okay. So, till the time, other people who are in the other tables, the people who are there in the other tables will not be able to, okay, get the food on time. Because of which people will stop coming to the hotel. Same thing will happen here in Java programming, guys. In Java programming, okay, we have the facility of, okay, running multiple threads. More than one thread we can run. Okay. So the Java program will perform multiple actions at the same time. Multiple parts of the program will be running at the same time, guys, simultaneously with the help of threads. And uh, this multiple threads combined is called as multi-threading in Java programming. So how can multiple threads can run? For example, in the case of the hotel example, in the hotel, there are hundreds of tables. The hotel has the capability of uh, hosting multiple waiters, okay? Because 100 tables are there, so no waiter will be, you know, free, right? Like, you know, only one waiter, not possible. So if there is only one table and if you recruit hundred waiters, is that useful? If the hotel has only one table, only two to three people come daily, let's assume to the hotel. Okay. They're okay with that. And for that hotel management can uh, recruit hundred uh, waiters and uh, serve that particular three to four people with this hundred people. Hotel will definitely be in loss if, if they go in that direction, right? That's what happens here, guys. Okay. So, but, uh, so here multi-threading can be achieved by executing multiple threads, more than one thread simultaneously at the same time. One, once the one thread is working on one activity, another thread. Because in the hotel, when 100 tables are there and multiple waiters are there, each and every waiter will go and, uh, you know, take the order from different tables. Okay. That's what will happen to maximize the max, uh, simultaneously to maximum utilization of CPU. So in your computer, we have a CPU, central processing unit. Okay. Nowadays, you know, C CPU, you know, uh, quad processor and kind of options are coming. That kind of uh, latest CPUs uh, have very good, uh, you know, capability, okay, to, you know, run the program. Uh, I mean, uh, it has a lot of, uh, you know, a uh, lot of like hotel having 100 tables, like that your computer machine is ha not having a single processor. It has a multiple processor, okay. We generally call it a CPU, but it is a microprocessor kind of stuff is there, okay. So multiple processor there, and since multiple processor are there, we can actually modify our Java program to run faster so that multiple threads, with the help of multiple threads, the Java program can run faster. But to, to make this multiple threads run faster, we should have the machine that should support that, right? Multiprocessor machine should you should have, okay? Your CPU has multiple microprocessors and, uh, you know, uh, that thread will be running on microprocessors like that and simultaneously multiple threads can be running. Hence, that uh, line is written like this. Multi-threading can be achieved by executing two or more threads simultaneously to maximum utilization of CPU. To maximize the, uh, to maximum the utilization of CPU, multi-threading can be achieved. So, in real time, we have different type of applications, guys, you know, uh, different, for example, this Windows application only, Windows operating system only you take. Is a multi multi-threaded application or not windows operating system is a multi-threaded because while you are working on you know eclipse id i'm also working on this mind map and also i'm working on this notepad plus plus 
I'm also can work on the paint software. Okay. I can simultaneously work on multiple tasks on this computer machine, guys. While this computer machine is uh, working, right? You see this uh, telegram is running here for me. Zoom meeting is happening for me where I'm recording this video. Flux, one software, you know, known as Flux, which will actually, you know, uh, keep your system screen. Blue light uh, production will be there. Mm, you see Windows security, which comes by default uh, in Windows operating system is running. Okay. Defender kind of. Options are coming at Dell, some Dell options, some drivers and, you know, graphics and all those things are running parallelly on your computer machine operating system. This particular operating system is nothing but an application, which type of application, multi-threaded application, how this multi-threaded application can be developed by using multi-threading concept in Java. For example, if Java was used for developing the Microsoft, assume that, okay, Microsoft operating system, then Java have to use multi-threading concept uh, to make this kind of things possible. Okay. Multi-threaded application is equal to two or more threads run concurrently. Two or more. Okay. Threads to run concurrently. Each thread runs parallel to each other. While one thread is running, another thread will not wait in the queue. For example, if you go to a railway station and you want to book a ticket, you have to stay in the queue, right? Right. After one person is given the line is given the ticket, another another person will be given the ticket. So like that, everyone has to wait until their turn comes. But in case of multi-threading, it's not like that, guys. While one person one count in one counter, you are taking one ticket, another person is taking a ticket in another counter to make the things faster. That is what is called as here. Multiple people are providing you the tickets so that uh, you will not get delayed with the train, something like that. Okay. In real world example, in multi-threaded applications also, multiple threads will be running on. Uh, multiple threads will be running parallelly, okay, without uh, interfere, uh, without worrying about the other threads, okay. So practical demonstration, guys, in the previous uh, question of this uh, Java interview question series, only answer this question for you, okay. I have written the program here. I'm not going to write the code again. This is already covered as part of the answer for the previous interview question, okay, in this uh, series. So uh, as you can see here, uh, start of the main method, end of the main method. Why I have written like this? Start of the main method, end of the main method means the program has started here. This is a main thread, guys. Simple. This is the main thread. This is the end of the main method. Means the default thread, whatever is there, right, will run from here to here. And in between that, I have manually configured it to manually written the program to launch three more threads. Apart from this main thread, I am going to launch three more threads. Total, how many threads will be there in this program? Four threads. Default main thread and remaining three threads. Okay. So I create an object. I created a class and made it this class extend the thread. Uh, you know, predefined class in Java. And, you know, I created a overridden method of this uh, thread class here and implemented that saying thread execution started, thread execution ended. Here, if you want additional, you can write uh, thread.sleep also, you can write if you want. Okay, so that you can see how the threads are getting executed. Demo will be very good here. Okay, thread.sleep. I'll just give the sleep time as three seconds. Let's see what will happen over the mouse. Surround with try catch block. That's okay. Or ignore also, you can do. Not a problem. Either you can surround with try catch blocks or uh, if you want, not to make the code complex, right? You can do one more thing. You can simply say, pour the mode and say, okay, only that is there, okay? Okay, fine. Here, this run method is there, right? That's the reason. Only surround with try-catch is there. So we'll go with the try-catch block only. Let's not worry about that. That that also Eclipse side is generating. Here, four threads will be there. For every thread, right, you know, start, thread execution started and three seconds it will wait and thread execution ended will be printed, okay? So this, this program, when I run, right, uh, when this particular thread program is run, when you say start, right, this uh, whatever the code that is there in the run method will be executed, guys. Okay. When you start the thread here, the code that is there in the run method will be executed. For more information, you can watch my previous uh, interview question on this in the same series related to multi-threading, guys. Okay. Fine. Then uh, thread one dot join means that this particular thread, okay, what it is saying is that, that it's asking the main thread to not complete. Okay. Even though the main thread and this three other threads will run simultaneously. But here we are mentioning that after the thread one is completed, after thread one is completed, then only the main thread should end. Similarly, thread two also, I did the same thing. I am asking the main thread to wait until the thread two is completed. I'm asking the thread three to also wait until the main thread is completed. The join method is uh, for that purpose, okay? All these explanations are part of the previous uh, session, guys, okay? Uh, previous interview question answer. So just run this code and see that uh, how the multi-threaded program is running. So start of the main thread, thread execution started, thread execution ended, thread execution started, second thread ended, thread execution started, thread execution, end of the main thread, okay? So here three seconds is there, right? That is the reason, okay? Three threads are there, right? Before, uh, you know, uh, three threads are there. 
how the things are happening, you can see that here. Okay. Started, ended, started, ended, started, ended. Something is happening. That's okay. So threads are running simultaneously, guys. What if I don't give this three seconds here? It will be a bit fast. You can see that. See what is going to happen. That is, you can start it, end it, start it, end it, end it. You see, multiple threads are running parallelly, and you know, main thread is also running parallel. While the main thread is running, remaining threads are also running. This is called as multi-threaded programming, guys. Okay. So in Java, this is an example for the multi-threaded. You can take a screenshot of this code if you want to practice in your machine. Hope you have taken the screenshot of this code and uh, you try to practice this in your machine. If you don't say join and all right, it will be completely different. Okay. So fine. Anyhow. So with a theoretical explanation and practical demonstration, I've answered this question for you. So that's all for this session, guys. Right in Java here. So that's all for this uh, session, guys. Thank you. Bye.